Hey YouTube, Dime Digger here. I'm out hunting archery this morning and I want to do a shout out for Crispy's Kiwi Adventures. He's a great dude from New Zealand. He just hit 1,500 subscribers. And uh, I'm going to go through today, show you a few things that Crispy likes to do. And this is one of them, hunt. And uh, I'm in the ground blind this morning, so I'm trying to be fairly quiet in case a deer comes by. But I'm going to go through today, show you a few things he likes to do. Stay tuned for more. See you in a bit. Hey guys, back again for the second part of Crispy's shout out. I'm gonna see if I can't find something metal detecting because Crispy does great metal detecting videos. Finds lots of little silver coins over there in New Zealand. And if you look here, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there's a, this used to be an old foundation. There's cornerstones, there's one right here. And then I'm not sure which way it went, but if you look, this used to be an old town. Zoom in, uh, that used to be a bridge right there. And this was all underwater until the last couple of years they've been draining it. They're working on the dam. But there used to be a big town here and I'll put a picture in and I'll uh, show you what this looked like, you know, back in the 20s, early 1900s, I guess I should say. There's a creek right down here below. That's what, that feeds the dam along with a bunch of other ones. This is the East Branch Dam in Pennsylvania. But this this is usually all underwater all those little trees were never there the, the uh, water line was way up at those big trees so it's way down right now but it gives me a chance to get in here and look around it's i'm going to do some metal detecting not probably going to find anything good because this place has tons of trash and uh, it's been picked over pretty good by metal detectors so anyway another little part of crispy shot out here and i'll be back with you with more here in a minute another little cool thing here this is where the creek is going down and this used to be an old bridge here jace is up on top yeah i found it yeah jace found this there's the creek i'm gonna try to get over there there used to be a hotel across this creek on the old pictures we found so it's really windy i hope you can hear this i'm gonna try to get over there so be back in a minute Okay, now I'm on the other side of the two creeks. My truck is way over there. And now I'm on the other hill here, and there used to be a hotel here. And I just wanted to show you another thing that Crispy's likes to do, and that's bottle hunt. But I don't have any full bottles. They're all pieces. But there's some really cool, that's like a purplish glass. This stuff's all over the place. Some uh, pottery, or that's not pottery, but ceramics, I guess. That one has a design on an old plate, maybe. But there's a, this stuff is scattered everywhere. And I'm trying to find whole bottles, and I can't find any. But this used to be where the hotel was. If you look, you can kind of tell. Right there's the foundation stones. They go down there, and then across, and across right here. So this used to be where the hotel sat, I believe. I mean, just going off old pictures, and there's... What I've, I've been detecting around here a little bit. Haven't found much bullets. Must have shot a lot of guns. There you go. When they, this drains, maybe guys sit here for, with their, or for deer hunting or whatever. But there's lots of bullets around. But anyway, gonna go do some more exploring. See you in a bit. Looks like I just found their little walkway here. Just a line of bricks, straight line, and it goes right up there to that stone and then that hotel was right above it it's pretty cool i'm going to try to detect right around here for a little bit haven't found anything but trash so far but i'll get back if i do see you for now just dug another bullet been finding these all over the place but anyway uh, the hole is right here and then on this rock look what's laying there somebody found this and just threw it up on the rock old hatchet head pretty cool I think I'll just leave it right there though. And uh, keep looking, we'll see you in a bit. I had a real steady 82 signal here on the Garrett AT Max and I thought it was down in this hole and I missed it. It's right there on the side and it's round. Let's see what it is. Oh, I thought it was gonna be something cool. Not sure what that is, another piece of junk. A bed post or something, it's heavy, whatever it is. But, I'll be back to find anything else. See you for now. Looks to be another foundation right here. Bunch of rocks. This side's 
not really intact anymore. That side is. But check this out. This is leaning up against the rock somebody else found and laid it up here. Well, that's an old saw. I mean, it looks like an old saw, obviously. And the chain there. But if you look right over there where that pile is, that's a, like a, a big raise going through there. That's where the train tracks used to come through. And way over there is where they went across the creek. I gotta put my pinpointer down here. If you look right there, that's where they crossed the creek. And then over this way is where the bridge is the road came across. So trying to detect here, not doing any, not much luck. I did find an 1889, I believe it was, uh, V nickel last time I was here, and it was actually right on top of the ground. It's in decent shape, but of course, you know, it's not worth anything because of the wear, you know, just being out in the mud and stuff. But it was pretty cool finding that. I'm hoping to stumble on some silver, but no luck yet. We'll see you for now. Well, that's where I was. I got back across the creeks. I did get a soaker on the way over. My one foot soaked. But I was way over there on that hill. That bridge was right there. The railroad tracks came off from over there. I'm just showing you this again. The, the tracks came across over, you know, that was the other bank it crossed. But up here is where all the foundations of the houses were. I've detected all through here. And there's so much junk, it's hard. But I'm heading back up to the truck right now. And that was an old tannery, that's what that was. That big pile of bricks over there was the smokestack. And you'll see it in the picture I'm going to put on the end here. I'll put a couple pictures. And it's just cool to get out of a place like this. It's been underwater. You know, it, it was exposed, I think, in uh, 1993. or I can't remember exactly the date, but this was real low because of a drought. And people got in here and, you know, went through and collected stuff. But it's been dry like this for a couple years now. Every winter they let it down and they're working on the dam. Right there, you can see the dam water down there. That's just the, it's, it's that low right now. It used to be up, you know, past those trees. And well, my pickup's way up there on the hill and the water used to go right up to the parking lot. So this has been underwater since the 50s. But anyway, I'll show a couple pictures at the end. Don't forget to go check out Crispy's Kiwi Adventures. That was this, you know, I'm out exploring and he does this all the time. Goes out paying for gold and whatever, but uh, go check him out. And for now, this is Time Digger and I'm gone.